everybody and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be a review slash little mini tutorial on the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I actually got this for Christmas so I'm a bit late on the bandwagon but um, this is actually what I've got on my eyes today. I was going to go for like a naturally look but I ended up going for the full shebang because that is just the way I roll. Um, so this is the palette itself. So this is what the packaging looks like on front of the palette and on the back of the palette. This is what the packaging looks like out of the packet, that's the front and the back of the palette is just quite basic. And these are what the shades look like inside of the packet. New and exclusive shades. So apparently all the shades are in matte shade apart from this one shade here which is called a demi matte. But to be honest it seems more like a, I'd say like a shimmery shade, more like a sheer shade. So what I'm going to be doing for you, I'm going to talk a bit about the palette. I will insert a timestamp where you can just skip straight to the tutorial part of the video if you don't want to hear me rambling on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swatch the first row on the back of my arm and we'll see what that looks like. I've decided I'm not very good at doing swatches so these are the full swatches from the from the first row and as you can see the colour at the end is what I've smoked um, the end of my eye out with it's the colour Lethal which is this one here that's a really pretty colour and that's like the um, demi matte colour there so that's, so that's the first row so I'm just going to swatch the second row on my arm hopefully I'll do a better job this time because I'm not I'm not right good at swatching, <laughs> it's not something I usually do. So these are the swatches from the bottom colour, um, from the bottom row, I've actually done them the wrong way around because I'm really bad at swatching, so as you can see this is more of a warm toned theme, I actually use the black, uh, the black jet colour just to sort of line my eyes as you'll see in the tutorial at the beginning, at, in a minute. So yeah, I think the packaging's absolutely stunning. It's like a light of beam that's coming out, uh, a, a, a light beam that's coming out at you. I've not actually tried this palette till today. I mean, I've, I've actually seen it on other people, but I've never done it myself. And I'm really, really impressed at how it came out. The colours are really creamy, really nice, and um, very pigmented, so. Very unusual for Urban Decay because they usually do like the long line ones, you know, for the naked ones. So this is like a square rectangular one, which I don't mind to be honest. It's something different and it looks really, really nice and it looks really luxurious. So I'll probably get a lot of uses out of this palette for like an everyday look. But this isn't an everyday look, it's just most people wouldn't wear this on a day to day basis, but I would because it, it's just the way I am. I'm just absolutely obsessed with makeup. So yeah. So now I'm going to do a little smoky eye tutorial on this and um, we'll see what we think at the end. So let's get straight into this tutorial. I'm starting off with Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to pop that all over my lids using my fingers. And then to stop that from creasing, I'm going to set the whole eye using the colour pre-game, which is the yellowy colour to the left hand side. And I'm just using a bold metals brush. And I'm just going to blend that all over the lid and right up to the brow bone again. It just makes it easier to blend in any eyeshadows that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Next I'm going in with the colour Commando and I'm going to use this in my crease as my um, transition shade. So I'm just popping that straight in the crease and just blending it all out. I'll just keep adding and blending. I think you guys know the drill by now. Then I decided to use the brush that you actually get in the palette, it's a cute little brush and I'm using the thicker end and I'm going in with the colour Lethal. I just thought I'm just going to go straight into this dark colour and see how it goes and I'm not going to lie, when I first put it on I was a bit taken aback, I was like whoa, 
this is proper pigmented and I'm not going to lie it was quite hard to blend out but I feel like I got there in the end and it gives a quite nice smoky look. I literally kept going to have to go back in with that colour and I actually went in with the beginning colour that we used, the transition shade, just to soften it out a little bit but I feel like I did get there in the end so I just did the exact same thing to the other eye and then I'm going in with the colour magnet and I'm just using the colour magnet just to soften it up as it goes in towards the centre of the lid. I just found it a bit of a harsh line going straight from lethal to well the colour lethal to well I'll probably put a lighter colour in my eye later and I'm also taking that magnet colour across my crease just to soften it out and define it a little bit more then for the rest of the lid I'm going in with the colour blow which is the top left hand colour and I'm going to use that as my highlight on my brow bone and also to just to correct the little bit of mistake because I went over a little bit too much on one side I found it was a little bit too much and it also it's a little trick to know because if you do this on both of your eyes it just looks equal on both sides and I also decided to pop it in the inner third of my lid just to give it that little bit of sparkle because it does have a little bit of glisten to this I, I wouldn't call it a demi matte at all And again, I'm just taking the colour lethal and just dragging it underneath my lower lash line. It just gives it that smoky out effect and I also think it just brings the whole look together. I didn't want to add any liquid liner so then I went in with the colour blackjack and what I decided to do is draw it on using the eyeshadow. It just makes it that little bit softer but it, it makes it that much more defined so what I did is I drew it on like I would do my usual eyeliner and then I blended it out. Um, I blended upwards. And I did the exact same thing to the other eye. As you can see, it just makes it that much more defined. I'm going on with my MAC mascara again. And I'm just going to speed up this bit so the video isn't as long. So that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was the first time using this palette and I really, really like it. So please subscribe to my channel. Check out my Facebook and Instagram accounts. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Bye.